Next into the Shark Tank is Johnson Bailey with a new twist on a familiar product. Hey guys, my name's Johnson Bailey. I'm here to ask for $50,000 in exchange. I'm willing to give you 25% of my company. A few years ago, I was gonna have the guys come over to watch a football game, but my place stunk. I had dirty clothes, old Chinese food. So I tried to come up with an idea that could make the house smell good, but also manly. The only problem was though, is that all I had was like a vanilla, lavender, foo-foo scented candle. You know, that wasn't gonna work. And that's when I came up with the idea that would revolutionize the candle industry forever. May I present to you the original man candle. <laughs> we've got pot roast, we've got golf course, barbecue, football, draft beer, popcorn, awesome manly fragrances. Or say there's some in your house you really don't want to hang around too long. The working title for this candle was Mooch Be Gone or Mother-in-Law Be Gone. But I decided to go with a tamer candle, the fart candle. <laughs> you just light that candle, 20 minutes, I guarantee you they're gone. <laughs> you can't really appreciate a man candle, though, just by looking at it. You got to smell it. So I brought some for you today. For you, new car. Give Barbara You're... the fart. Don't give me that one. <laughs> Beach babe for you. Freedom, all-American candle. Oh, wow. The bacon-scented candle. And last but not least, how about a basketball-scented candle? Imagine that, huh? Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Smell that a new car. It smells yeah. like a new car. I do have my number one seller here, if anybody would like to try it, the infamous fart-scented candle. Yes, I'd like to see that. There you are. <laughs> let me smell. Let me smell. Oh, let me try that. Let me smell it. Oh. That is our number one seller, believe it or not. Does oh, it get worse goodness. when it burns? Um, you know, it gets um <laughs> <laughs> it just gets louder. It's it's hard to imagine a fragrant getting louder, but it does. Oh. It'll kick you in the throat a little bit. Tell us about the business. Um, they retail ten to twelve dollars. We've got roughly around four hundred stores right now that carry the product from coast to coast. Um, yeah, mom and pop shops, we've got some kind of higher end, more recognizable um, gift stores, um, card and gift stores that carry them. It's just a, you know, a fun product. What are your sales? The sales, we did 53,000 roughly last year. Um, this year we're going to- $53,000 or units? $53,000 in sales. But Johnson, you can't eat this wax. How do you live? Well, my wife works full time, so. And you don't work, just do candles? I do candles, yeah. You gotta be kidding. You got a shot here, right? Don't let these guys drag you down. What's your background? I'm in still in college. I came up with this um, as my business plan for my entrepreneurship class. Did you put any money into this, you and your wife? We have. We've put right around $40,000 into it. Where do you make them? How are you manufacturing them? Um, I hand pour them, every one of them. You what? You hand pour? I hand pour them. He's hand pouring each can himself. <laughs> Johnson, I gotta ask you, why? I'm sitting here thinking, has anybody ever told you this was a good idea? But don't kill him yet, Robert. It's actually, you know, you... No, right, I'm so just wondering, Mark, has he ever gotten in front of an investor or... Well, he's gotten, more importantly, he's gotten in front of customers. So you've got him in these gift shops and you've got him in the mom and pop shops. You know, what, what is a normal reorder pattern? Well, like for instance, our, our high-end um, card and gift chains that carry the product, a lot of those stores, you know, we see six to seven reorders a year. A reorder six, seven times a year is not a lot. Yeah, I mean, that's nothing. Johnson, there's nothing proprietary but putting wax in a can and selling it. This falls into a category of product that I call crap for tourists. And I'm not saying it's bad. The pet rock fell into that, made somebody millions of dollars. I don't think this is a pet rock. I think it's an interesting tchotchke. I can't really invest in it, so I'm out. I think your best gimmick there is the fart candle, but um, the business is just not big enough. I'm out. This is a situation, I really call it um, a vitamin C deficiency because you don't have cash, credit, or enough customers. I'm out. 
I don't believe this will make any money. I'm out. Who's left? Just me? You're killing me, Johnson. On, on one side, I can see the entrepreneurial vision. And I see the attack dog in you that just loves this and is ready to run with it. But on the other side, you're a single product, and I don't know if that's really a full company. And because I can't visualize it as a full company, I'm out. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Good luck. He was missing the one flavor that would have got me interested, money, the smell of money. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, you know, smelling the fart candle too long might have clouded their judgment a little bit, might have um, gave them a little um, deficiency of some type.